all right welcome to uh, our channel today in today's videos we'll be looking at the HTML example part 2 this is a continuation of our previous video so if you want to uh, know what we've talked about in part 1 do check out our playlist to see the previous video uh, today we'll be looking at uh, body tag attribute format font and special character these are the things we'll be looking at body tag attribute format fonts and special characters so if you are new to our channel please click on the subscribe button and also remember to click on the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as we post new videos so we'll be diving straight into this focus so if you look at the uh, code you can see we are doing a continuation from where we uh, left off so watch the other video so that you catch up with this very video so this is where we left off in our last video so we're just continuing from there but we focus on the body tag attribute we're starting off with the body tag attribute, then we we'll move forward to format fonts, and then lastly, uh, special character. So, let me go to my body tag. If you look at this body tag now, here is the body tag. You can see that we did not add any attribute to the body tag there are so many attributes that come to the body tag attribute of background attribute of test attribute of color and so on and so forth so it's very pretty much possible for us to uh, have so many attributes in that uh, background so in today we'll be looking at these things We'll be looking at this so first off we'll start with the attribute of color for that of the attribute of color you can let okay let me start with attribute of color and see so okay so we'll call it bg color so you see it bg color what we are going to do, we are going to specify our color. For the primary colors like the blue, the white, the black, and the primary colors are, you know the primary colors. So let me start with one of the primary colors and say right, this is basic, you see red. And then we move to our uh, browser and see if it's going to reflect as red. So these are our browser. Remember, I said we it's just where we left off that we are continuing from. See it that the background color have changed to red, so let's also see some other uh, color. Let's try that with some other colors and see how it's going to work out fine for us. You can see that we've tried the red, we've tried the blue, and these are just the primary colors. So we've tried these colors and find out that the results are super creative. So creative. what we want to do now is that we want to try not just using the color name, but what we did is that we use the color name. So we don't want to use the color name, but rather we want to use the color code. And in using the color code, you must be familiar with each of the code uh, for. Uh, you must be familiar with the code for each of the colors. So we must know that. We must know that. So 
Alright. Let's go to our coding environment so that we can remove that. I'm randomly going to pick some color code. I will leave with us uh, on the uh, video description. In the video description, you can check the link to various color code. I'm going to add the link to various color code there. So do check the video description for you to see a link to various color code so that you can easily uh, 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 know this color code and choose the code you want for your color. You can see that I've typed the color code of F9, F999. I think this should be the same color code for red. Red, red, it might be a little bit different from the red that we have before we remember. I think that is color code for red. I still remember that. So let's refresh and see. Okay, not red, I can say. Not red. I think this is kind of like peach. This peach. This page. So let's try something else and see. Let's try a different code. S3 is, is for red. FF333 is for 3 is for red. This is what I wanted to do initially. But then you can use, like I said, do follow the link on the, the video description for you to see the various color code you can pick from. So you can choose any color code you want and then uh, implement it. So let me just try. Some other color, random, random color. Let me just pick. But do know that you don't just randomly pick. You know, type in some numbers. But this color coding comes with this standardization. So I will uh, uh, suggest that you follow the guideline for color coding. Exact decimal thing is called ex exact code for HTML. So follow the guideline for it so let me just try some other this is it. okay let's see this let's refresh and see the color code that is that it's white ff is white then if you use ash 000, zero, zero that's triple zero is for black. So if I do that now, so that everything will be black apart from our link that is here that is not black. Our link and that of the map, I think on the map, that tiny map that we have there, you can see some colors there. So if we change it to black, let's just change it to black and see the result. Now you can see that everything is completely dark. Our writers are dark apart from the link that we have there and then the map that is there. So we will turn it back to our color. So we maintain for the now, we we'll maintain the black. But then you can also use uh, a different background. Instead of using color, you can also use image, image for our background. So I'm going to show us how we can use image for our background rather than using just color only for our background so it's pretty much possible for us to do that so in today's case i'll be showing us how to do it you know uh okay let's see how that goes okay, let's put up our
for using the video background and for using image and background, we're going to talk about the word background to the full. We're going to do background to the full and then that is the attribute, the attribute of background. And we also have okay. I think let me just for the purpose of getting to straight. You can have this, you can have the color as still an attribute while you also have the background as still as an attribute then specifying the directory or the folder where your image uh, where the image is you know in our previous video i told you that i uh, arrange my uh, folder everything should be in the same in the directory everything should be in the same directory explain that to us in previous video so the name of my image is going to be tagged there. The name of the image is going to be tagged there. Let me just add the name of my image. That is in the image folder. Let me just go back to my folder. Organizing your what document. Everything must be in the same folder. And then subfolder of the main folder. Let me just show you here on in this coding environment. Now, if you take a look at this left hand side, you can see this is the main folder here. You can see the main folder. Here in the main folder, we have another folder called images. Then we have the the two files the, the index file the .html file and the page two .html file so this is where our images are located so i have these two images right here the background the image i want to use for the background and then also the image this image is the map that we currently have on our web page which is this one here so we are like this so if you look at the hierarchy of our folder we have the light class folder then we have a subfolder of which is the images and then we have the images inside the folder so when you are uh, um, setting the uh, directory for your file you must specify the right directory so with that said let me, let's go back to our image. so we have we are still in the body uh, the attributes of the body type we have the uh, pg color which is setting color as the uh, background then also we use the background attribute that is we want to use an image file rather than the color so this is it right here so let's see how it goes let's switch to our browser and refresh Beautiful, right? It's beautiful. So we are going to make do with this image and progress with it. So we are still at the attribute of the body tag. We will continue with other uh, attributes, and I will explain what these attributes are. So in continuation of what uh, uh, we want to look at the test, the test attribute, the link attribute, the field link attribute. So let me just code them and then explain. We have the Let's 
so I'll be really attribute. Now what are all these attributes for? The test attribute specify you no know, you know like if you look at our website uh, our website as you can see it now is a full blown website you will observe that on the site the default color there is black the default color of all the text there is black so we can use the test to specify the color that we want so if you say you want the entire color of the web page to be red, to be red, you specify it as red. Uh, red was FF triple three. Three, 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 three. Yeah, that was all right. So let's refresh and check it out. Let's refresh. It. If you observe, you see that our link, the color of the link did not change. The color of the link did not change. So that is what we are going to find out now. That every other color of the entire web page have changed. The entire web page the color have changed. Right. So you can also change it to. You can use color names if you want to. You can use the names of the color. I use the names of the, the name of the color, but be very careful. It's only the primary colors that you can use the name. The primary colors, aside the primary color, every other color, then the system does not understand the name. But rather, you use the color code for that. So let me use blue. That blue here, but then using blue to remove the ash. So be very very careful when you are doing that. Make the browser and then I'm going to refresh. Browser, you see it. The entire body I've changed to blue. It's now blue. So I will leave it as blue for the now that I will move forward to. Okay. Uh, we'll use another color. There's a reason why. So that we will get to the link and the blue link, we'll be able to use colors that we are familiar with. This is the color I typed it. Sorry for that. This is the color I use CC2347. So let's see what color code is that. You see, it's not that sharp red like FF3333. So it's a different shade of red. So we'll move to it. It's still similar to, I'm going to change it, but it is still similar to the color I want to use. It's still similar to the color I want to use. So let me change it still. Let me change it still. This is what I've changed it. I've changed it to 452345. The color code I've chosen. Yes. If I'm explaining, I want to explain. The, the link can be feeling and I want to use a color that we are familiar with so that we don't get it mixed up. Okay, I think this is better. This is like almost a shade of black, but not complete black. Kind of a lighter a lighter black. So let's proceed. So for that of the link, the link, uh, the link attribute simply test the HTML, the entire, the device that tells the entire page that all links should be in this color. All links should be in this color. This is the reason why I wanted to, I want to use the color that we are familiar with so that we can observe it closely. Now we've seen the, this color is for red, so we've seen it before that it's for red. So you see that all link, I think we, we have this link here, for now we have the page 2 we have the Google link here 
so let's see how it's going to be all links should be in red so let's refresh and check it out Now, if you observe something, you see that it almost it was red and then it changes color. Again, what happened is because we we have specified the drilling here, but we are yet to add. We are yet to add uh, and uh, a value for that drilling. So, what the browser does is that it takes the default value for that browser and then use it if you watch the because we visited those two links so the color can no longer be right. so let me do add a third let's add a, a third link and then see it since we've not visited it anymore we'll just copy this link and get it and make this easy so we're going to call it our push tree we've not visited push tree so the color should still be right the color should still be right. Should be right. So let's see it. You can see it under the color of page 3 is red because we've not visited it. So, what we've told the browser is that ah, uh, the colors of the, the, the color of uh, um, body a uh, link of the body should be red. So, we've just instructed the browser. Of what to do, so it has assigned the red this color, this color for every link that is going to be on that page, on that particular page, which is this page that we are in at. It. We are coding or we are designing and developing for. So every link is going to take this color. And now every visited link, which is the feeling, visited link, feeling. So let's specify the color. Let's say. Let me try to pop one. See, that's going to give me the pop one. Work. It doesn't work. Then we we'll learn from it. Some browser might accept these colors, but some might not take it. So, in order to avoid this thing, it's better you use. You see, you see that it's purple, but it's not that visible. You may not see it too well. It's already purple. But don't use color name. I always advise don't use color name. It's better you stick with the color code. Look at the uh, link in the description. You will see the uh, various color code that you can use. So let's switch back and use. So let me use a random color code. That is a random color that I use there. I, the color code that I use, I don't even know what color to come up with. Let's see it. Oh, green. You see, it is green. The shade of green, anyway. It's green. So, what we've told our browser is that all visited pages, all visited links should be in green. So, when your uh, visitor it comes to your website and they click the particular link before they click on the link it can be red okay let's just swap the color because we've not clicked on it it should be red and after we've clicked on it uh, because we've not clicked on it it should be green and after we've clicked on it it should be red so let's swap it just make sense i know that you visited this link so swapping it all visited link should be oh, sorry all visited links are now uh, all links are now going to visited links are now red so look at it there i'll swap the color the color code for them that is my preference anyway so you can choose what you want so we're going to switch over to our browser and see it. 
That's a refresh. See, obviously that link are right, then links in general are green because we've not visited it. So let me click on it. It's, it should return no page because we've not we have no page for it anyway. To return no page right? now. Let's look at it. You see it because it uh, it has not visited that page, it's not showing and it's still green. So what we'll do, let's just have our third page. Let's control N or command N depending on your OS and your operating system. Then for this I will just use the okay, let me just save To this page yet. Oh, this is a page three right here. I will not give it that to it, but I just want to demonstrate that when we click on that page, we can actually uh, see the results. So we have our page three already there. Let's see what we have when we click on that text. This link here, but you have more click on it and how the color is going to change because at the moment it still shows that we've not visited that link. If you look at it, it's got to page 3, we've not visited it, so it's still in green. So let's click on it. The page is going to be blank, but the browser already detected it that we've visited the link. So what we have the color has changed to what we specified for all visited link because the visited link is registered on the browser and then it changes to red because we have visited that link so these are the attributes for body uh, tag so so far we have the uh, attribute of the background color we have the attribute of background we have the attribute of text we have the attribute of you have the attribute of of uh, of text. You have the attribute of link, and we have the attribute of the link. So these are the attributes that you have right there. And lastly, before we, we call it an end for that of the body uh, uh, attribute of the body tag, I want us to yet introduce another link, another uh, attribute called the active active link active link attribute. The active link attribute is okay. We've visited link one. And we are currently in link two. I would not visit link three. Now the link that we are in, which is call it, uh, let's say the page we are in. What color should it be? The current page that will be active link. So let's specify our active link to be. Let me just choose a random color still okay, for the purpose of. Let me just bring it down. It still works perfectly. Works perfectly. But for, for, for us to see it work. Well, so I have to break it down to the next line. So we have it here yeah, active link. Okay. This is it active link. So for active link, let me put let me introduce yet another. Uh, another link, so I'll just copy and then paste it right there. 
copy and paste. So I will call it the active link, which is our home page. We have the page two, we have the Google link to Google, which is an external link. Then we also have the page three. Then here we have the ad, uh, active link attribute. So let's refresh our browser and see what the result is going to be like. So we browsing. visited that link so it's going to be yeah, right so let's say uh, active link how do i do that now so that okay we visited the link already so it's going to have its color there but if if it is in an active link that you not so let me add up another page that you can visited and see the link that we have the name Anyway, it's not taking effect as I want it, but these are these are uh, the basic uh, the basic attribute of the body tag. Uh, you know what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take us through the very foundation of it, and your the kind of browser, the type of browser you use, and the version of the browser you use determine what the uh, what is going to come at the outcome determines the outcome of your uh, the tags you use these are old attributes anyway these are old attributes because nowadays we use css to define all these things and as we are progressing i'm going to explain now you see when we get to that stage we're going to explain how we use css to do all of this that we've done right here all of this we're going to uh, use CSS to define it, but for the now, we are using just you are doing it in the document itself, in the HTML document itself. But in the future, we are going to use the, uh, the CSS to do that. So, the I active link, uh, my brother does not allow it. I'm using the current version, I'm using the current version of Mozilla Firefox and the current version because I set my uh, browser to be on automatic update so it updates itself automatically so i'm using the uh, new version so i wouldn't know why it's not aligned actively but then we we'll proceed with other uh, things we want to do for this uh,
for the next uh, uh, the next tag we'll be looking at the font the font tag the font tag so let me create a new uh, paragraph and then do it in the next in the new paragraph so let's call this let's you make use of our uh, element let's use the HT element and call it let's call it font okay so for the font basically it is just a normal font tag that you have is a font tag and with your what whatsoever you want to be there let's call it let's call this Next is we have an attribute in the font. We have the attribute of size. We have the attribute of size. We can also have the attribute of color. We have the attribute of color. And then we have the attribute of face. I will take it one after the other. So let's refresh before I introduce the, the attribute of size and the others, the value for them. Let's see how it is in our browser. Let's refresh. See the font. You see font formatting. So it takes a default value of the browser. So let's specify. If the size for it, let's specify the size we want. So let's say the size of 22. Let's save and then take it out. See, the size of 22 is massive. So let's make it out. Let's put it at 12 and see. So you can check the, the size you want to determine what you are going to use. So I'm just randomly putting sizes so you see the difference. So let's switch. size of it so that you see it now is it the size of it and is it change it to it so let's see what it is going to be on the browser So for color, we've done color before, so it's going to be easy. But I wanted to observe something closely. In our, I think in the first uh, introductory video, I do let us know that HTML document uses the American Standard English in its uh, tag, in the name tagging and the element tag, uh, the name of the element. If you look at this attribute, the attribute called color is in. Oh, sorry, let me switch my video to. Let me switch my source to the code. If you look at this uh, color attribute, the color attribute is C O N O R, which is the American standard, not the British standard. So please and please 
understand it, that your browser only understand the American standard. So if you use something like color, you add you to it, and then you go ahead to type the file in there. Your browser may not understand it. So let's just pick this color and use this color. So we don't get it messy. Let's see what color that's going to give us. Kind of like blue. That is blue. That pyro blue sort of like. But let me use a color that is more visible. You may not see that color. That too well. Do is blue, but it's not white. Well, it's not pronounced. So let me let's see, try a different color. It's kind of like a pink, a shade of pink also. So these are the various colors. You can try any color that you want. And the interesting part of it is that you can use okay, let me do something, something silly. Let's do this. Let me start with four. And then there's something I want to do is going to uh, rather than typing, I just want to make it easier for us, make it fast. So color formatting, you know, call this one. What I want to do, I'll use the size of 4 for this. Let me be sure I'm in the coding environment. Oh, sorry, not. This is what I did here. Yeah, I just duplicated them. So I have, let me make this 5. Make this 5. And then make this 6. Then make this 7. And then choose different color. Let's see what that is going to be. But mind you, they are all going to be in the same stream, not in the same line, because we did not use the language. So, because we are aware of that, let me just introduce the language for it. You have the font size of 4, font size of 5, font size of 6, font size of 7. If you look at the color, you see that color of the font size of 5 and that of the font size of uh, 6, they are almost the same thing with different shades. That of the uh, font size of 6 is brighter than the font size of 5. So you can see it that. It's coming out beautiful, and you can use it to do something like a roller coaster. Let's say everything is just one word. Okay, let's pick this first word, the first thing there. Okay, let me space it more so that we have more space between this and the other. Bit. It's going to look a bit messy, so let me put this down. It's going to look a bit messy, but. So what I'm going to do though that each word is going to be in different line, but then okay, let me just pick them word for word. Each word is going to be in different line. It is not going to be the matter is what I want to do. Okay, what I want to do is that the word font formatting. 
we bake in same single line, same color, with different sizes, like a roller coaster kind of. So let's see how we can get this done. Let's see. Um, so let me use a single word format. Let me use a single word format. So let's see. We're using same color, but we are not going to use same same size. This will be the old. Be the old, and this will be the M. If you look at it, all have same font size, same color for the now. Then let's see. Wow, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. This is what I did here. This is what I did here. This is it? All have same font size, all have same color, all have same face. But if you look at it, you have the F, the O, the M, the T, so with different. So, what I want to do is to assign different sizes to them while all what comes out in one place. If you observe, you see that I did not add, uh, add the uh, line break to them, so it's going to come out in one line. Let's check it out on our browser and see how it's going to be. It's going to come out in one line. See, this is it right here. Formatting. Okay, I did not add the arrow, so I'll add my arrow. I'll add the arrow there. Add the arrow. Let's refresh and check it out. See the arrow is there. So 